Hello everybody and a good day to you all today. I'm talking about Shameless episode number two. Hashtag abortion rules. Yes. That is the title of this episode. Right there, you already know this show is going to be crazy. Because a lot of things going on, and a lot of things that go on in this episode is not good. Not good at all. First, you have Deb. Deb got, if you don't know this by now, spoiler alert, Deb got knocked up by her teenage boyfriend. Who, does not, who didn't want to have a baby. Who didn't want to get settled down. He just wanted to have fun. He wanted to be a teenage boy and have sex with his girlfriend. That's all he wanted. But she thought if he has a baby, her family would accept her, in her as one of them. And she gets grow up in this loving and warm household full of people who aren't crazy and dysfunctional. And she can have a baby with her man and live happily ever after. Well, she's wrong because he's a teenage boy and she's a teenage girl. And that's not going to work out well for them. So now he booked it and he left. He's gone. And her sister wants her to, and sister Fiona wants Deb to get an abortion and she doesn't want that because she thinks if she gets rid of the baby, he won't come back or whatever. Some stupidness she got in her brain. Then you have Carl. Carl has a new friend who he met in juvenile detention and he's becoming more and more of a criminal now. Yes. And you have Frank. Frank is mourning his girlfriend who passed away, and he's and by mourning her, he's doing a lot of bad things that's going to end in the man get him, get him to jail. Yeah. And you have Kevin. Kevin was his bar, and because of hipsters, his bar actually becoming successful. That's actually taking off because they love how crappy it is. They love the people that they love that the the um, the, the, the the bartender is, is is mean to them. They love all that crap, so they just, they just keep throwing money at them. And they're not going to stop them, so hey, want to, want to go with it. The bar is a dump, but these people seem to love it, so therefore we give them what they want. More crap. But on the other hand, and back when he's back at home, Kevin dealing with Giannis, who's played by Will Sasso. And Giannis is, well, kind of crazy, and he's fighting the lesbians who moved, who moved in, and he's driving them crazy because he's not get, they're, not, they're not getting no sleep because he keeps playing his, um, running his motorcycle all through the night. So it's like this, and Kevin's trying to keep the peace between the lesbians and Giannis, and, and it's also driving his house, household crazy. So like this, he's going crazy, and Giannis is crazy, and the, and the lesbians aren't helping the situation out at all. And so, by him trying to solve the problem, he may make things worse. And then to top it all off in this episode, you have Fiona. And Fiona was supposed to be the example. The one who's supposed to set the things in the right way. I mean, she has been raising these kids pretty much all her life, even though she was a child herself when she took on the road. Because Frank, he's, well, he's useless. And you have their mom... She's off somewhere being crazy. So, so she, it, it fell on her as the oldest child. And then, and, and she's so busy trying to make sure Deb is doing the right thing, she forgot to worry about, worry about herself. And she makes a, a dumb decision. Uh, you know, the acting performances on this show is great. That's fine. That's not the problem. The problem is you fall in love with these characters and they keep doing dumb things. No matter how they start to make things start to go right, they decide to do something stupid to make their life go worse again. I don't understand it. I don't know why. This show is so frustrating at times, and it pisses you off at times. But at other times, it can make you happy. It can make you sad. I feel a whole lot of emotions watching this show. And right now, I'm feeling kind of pissed. Yeah. Oh. So I guess the show is doing its job. Thumbs up, I guess. Oh, I don't know. I mean, every time you think they cannot fall even deeper down the well of crap, they find a way that they find another shovel and they dig even more. Like, what? Lip, you're my only hope. All you have to do now is probably leave your girlfriend, your professor, 
or whatever. Because she may be a nutball. Yeah. Because something she says in this picture sends up a huge red flag. And I don't think Lip is safe anymore. No, I don't. The whole situation was crazy from the beginning. But now you add this on to it too? Oh. Why? Good show. Check it out for yourself. Don't take my word for it. And then leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this episode of Shameless. Did it drive you crazy? Because it drove me crazy. Or maybe I'm already crazy. But either way, it is what it is. So, that's all I got to say about that. So, give my channel a big old like, a thumbs up. Boom. And subscribe to my channel and share. I really would appreciate it. So, like I always say in my dreams and in real life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. A peace out of peoples.